at the live desk uh, still tracking the situation in Southern California. The death toll rising this morning after those devastating mudslides. At least 17 people are dead. 17 others believed to be missing around the town of Montecito in Santa Barbara County. Hundreds of people are still stranded and roads cut off with no water supply. Here's ABC News reporter Maggie Ruley with more. This morning, rescuers going door to door. Searching for survivors in Southern California, placing an X when it's all clear. I didn't think it would ever turn into something like this. We've never seen anything like this before. Powerful mudslides funneling down these hillsides left barren by last month's fires. ABC's Kana Whitworth flying over the damage. If you look out there, you can see all of these homes completely surrounded in mud. <laughs> New video shows the mudslides power and speed. An empty car in Burbank bobsledding down the street as a muddy mess washes downhill. Oh my God, mom. Marco Farrell and his family scrambling to safety as a wall of mud hits their home. Close the door. Get, get, get ready to go out. Wake that up. The Farrell family, some of the lucky ones surviving the ordeal. But the death toll is rising. At least 17 people have been killed, including Roy Rocher, the founder of a Catholic school. And this morning, pictures surfacing of some of the missing. 12-year-old Sawyer Corey and her sister Morgan. Peter Flore, last seen at his Montecito home. And Ken Liatis, who hasn't been heard from since Tuesday. This is, this is unbelievable. At least 400 homes are damaged or destroyed, and the evacuation's still ongoing. It could take weeks or possibly months to restore drinking water in Montecito. Maggie Ruley, ABC News, New York.